Hi, my name is Shruti Dupati, and uh, I've decided to do my semester project on Botrytis cinerea, which is an ascomycete in the sclerotium forming family. And uh, the reason I've chosen it is because it's a very important part to the making of sweet wines, dessert wines, um, particularly in France in a region called Sauternes. Um, and Sauternes is very famous for its sweet wines that are made when uh, Botrytis cinerea infects the grapes at a perfect, uh, perfect inf uh, weather of 65 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit and about 90 percent humidity. And when these conditions come together, it's ripe for disease. Um, but the disease in this case can be a good thing and uh, allow for the creation of these very expensive wines, um, which I've been doing research on and hoping that we can make them in North Carolina some, somehow. Um, but uh, essentially what happens is the, the botrytis enters, enters the grape and um, it, can, it can land on different parts of the plant certainly and uh, it can enter through wounds um, but it also has an apressorium which once the conidium have landed on the plant the apressorium can break through um, push its way through into the cells form hostorium and start um, getting the nutrients and sugars water out of the actual berry and um, what happens is that the botrytis scenario has different enzymes chitinases and pectinases which break down the cell walls which are what uh, causes the grape to start to shrivel up and basically removes the water concentrating the sugars and that's what makes the good dessert wines. Um, other symptoms include the the blossoms will wilt and wither and then the, the leaf tips can get scorched. So I thought it would be wise to do a uh, disease cycle, this is just color pencils, um, to show what happens during the summer, the infection, and then during the winter since it's in the sclerotium family. It'll overwinter in the soil on sclerotium or on mummified fruit. Um, and then what I also made was a 3D model of, uh, this is styrofoam and acrylic paint um, and paper. And we have, we're starting with a berry here that's at verasion, um, meaning that it's, as, it's the turning point of when the grape stops growing bigger and starts to just ripen. So here is the grape ripening, um, and the fungus will lay latent until the grape is ripe enough for it to absorb nutrients from. So, and then here is the fungus actively absorbing nutrients as the grape starts wilting and the water is being lost. There will be the sign of the fungus, the fuzzy gray mold as it's known, and that will that is the stage at where the conidia pores and conidia are being formed, this stage right here. Um, but that's my project and um, my paper will continue to talk a little more in detail about the different enzymes that uh, break down the grape in order to concentrate it. So it's a very interesting topic for me and I uh, hope you like it.